imagine a postcard perfect island in the Pacific, covered in virgin rainforest and surrounded by sparkling turquoise lagoons and pristine reefs. A place where baby turtles grow into the ocean and the reefs are teeming with life. Where you can enjoy bushwalks through untouched lush tropical forest, filled with the songs of birds and the thunder of waves on the fringing reefs. Welcome to Tetapari, the last wild island. Located in the western province of the Solomon Islands, it is one of the best preserved jewels of the South Pacific. It's the largest uninhabited island in the entire southern hemisphere and is home to one of the Solomon's leading conservation projects and a unique locally owned and managed eco lodge. The entire island is protected from commercial resource extraction by a 13 kilometers long marine protected area established in 2003, which is a permanent no-take zone that protects their reefs, lagoons, and land. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. going to the rangers from Tetepara Island and they're going to give us a briefing about the tur turtles because apparently they're hatching and hopefully we can help them and see it happening. Yes, yes, yes! So exciting! <laughs> Welcome to Tetepare, proudly conserved by the TDA. It's very cool, I think that it's probably the only marine preserve in the Solomon yeah. Islands. And I met a guy earlier named Kennedy, who is kind of supervising everything here right now. And it's just very cool because the people of Solomons, they don't have a lot, you know? They don't have a lot of extra resources and there's not that much tourism. And so it's very cool that they're giving what they have of time and resources to try and protect this beautiful area because it's pretty special. Yeah. I haven't been in the water yet because I have an infection on my foot, but the girls jumped in and they seem like Eagle rays, sharks, barracuda, turtles within five seconds of yeah. jumping off the boat. So it's a very cool place and I think it's paying off the work that they're doing because it's a pretty, pretty magical spot here. You go check it out. Um, now we are getting ready to go do our turtle hatching adventure. The rangers uh, came in today and they headed over to the beach and said that they uh, saw that they were starting to hatch. So after all these times of missing it and being in the wrong place at the wrong time or whatever it might have been, it's finally looking like today's the day and I couldn't be more excited about it. So well, let's go do it. Bye, Peanut! Bye! See you! Oh, okay. like lost place like I don't know I will I will enjoy like to camp on the beach for a few days and just be us and nobody else around just us and the turtles but the turtles yeah they leave me too so. yeah, I'm excited we're here Black Sand Beach this is where the turtles come to lay their eggs and we are in luck because they're hatching here we go oh wow 
Oh, they made it look easy. Well done. They're very good. Yeah. These guys know what they're doing. <laughs> they're going on this beach probably almost every day. I'm here to watch when the tetors are coming up. So that we can rescue them, relocation. Where they put their eggs are safe enough for the high tide, then we will leave. But every eggs that below the high tide, we will relocate. This is the green beetle nest. Watching a baby turtle struggle out of the nest and make its way to the water, it's an emotional experience. But watching these babies take their first steps, we only began to realize how hard the life of a baby turtle is. Once they hatch, they instinctively run towards the waterline. Small mounts of sun are like mountains for these freshly hatched little ones, as they stumble and struggle their way into the surf. As they make the crossing, they have to dodge a variety of predators such as birds and crabs, and on their arrival to the water, sharks will be waiting for them. Sadly, a big percentage never make it to the ocean, and it is estimated that only 1% of hatchlings will reach sexual maturity. Once they enter the water, they embark into the open ocean without stopping for days in hopes of escaping from the many waiting predators. After this, their lost years begin where their whereabouts will be unknown for as long as a decade. Later on, they migrate long distances between feeding grounds and the beaches from where they hatched. So when you see this miracle of life enter the water, make sure you're protected. They already have the hardest beginning of all. Have you ever seen anything this cute in your whole life? I never thought that I'll be... <laughs> Lucky enough to witness something like that. It's, it's like a little miracle. It's amazing. This is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Like, I'm mind blown. This is so, <gasps> so cute. Imagine if Phoenix would be here. How cute would that be? Oh that is. God. They're adorable. Oh my God, Nerea. It's one of the ones like that experience that you have to live to see. Like, I don't know, like, it's the cutest thing you ever, ever will see or appreciate. It was so weird because I thought we were gonna like come here, like wait for something to happen, and we just got here and they, and there they went. And oh my god, oh my god, it's too too much. Yeah. How cute is that? Was that? Like, best thing I've seen. It's the most adorable thing I've seen. Yeah. I wanted to do that for tens of decades. That was so cool. very special. And what is your name? My name is Lazarus. 
Tony. And uh, I'm a ranger in the department. For how long? Uh, now it's uh, eight years old. Eight years. Yeah. And have you been working with the turtles also for a long time? Yeah, I'm, I'm the monitors. The mon uh, you're monitoring them? Nice. And how are you related to Tetapari? And my dad is from the Tetapari Descent Association. Oh, okay, cool. What's your favorite thing about the baby turtles? I love the tail. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we built this year and last year, and uh, now it's complete now. And uh, the monitors, they always come here and uh, stay one week on the beach to monitor the, there's a bike and the grains, yeah. Okay, so yeah. you come and you stay here for one week, and then you leave for one week, and then new people come yes. for one week, so yeah. you're trading. Yeah. And how many people are, are living here together normally? Uh, normally, uh, five of them. Five people? Yes. Living in the hut. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, you cool. can have a look there. Cool. Ooh. That's cool. <laughs> you have a nice view from here. Yeah. It's very beautiful. So you have like a mattress here that yeah, you roll out at night? Yeah, at the night time we put on bed. That is some of the mattress here. Yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, we used to... Cool. Did you, did you have an interest in, in the ocean and, uh, and protecting the ocean before you became a ranger? Uh, yeah, we was training from the other advisor, Traxa, who mm -hmm. come and train us as a ranger and uh, also saw the totals coming down and has in, put in the hatch ring like that, yeah. So cool. that's why we experience of the, how we monitor that totals. Spot, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Like, we're the only boat here. We have this whole island with a couple rangers, and it's just like, it's like their nature island. We got a lot going on. I'm pretty excited about it. So, yeah, this was, uh, I don't know, this might be my highlight in the Solomon so far. Yeah. yeah. It's not a bad view, eh, Ocean? It's like whipped cream on the top of uh, the clouds with the color. It gives you, uh, you want to eat them, you know? <laughs> it's so beautiful. Like one of the best afternoon on sea, yeah. I think that was so cute. Calm day, and we 
Uh, the only boat here in Tetapari, but the only boat we've seen for a while, as we've said, and we are right in this channel um, that comes into the reef. And just snorkeling yesterday, we saw sharks and barracuda and spotted eagle rays and turtle and whispers of dugongs that live here. So whispers. we thought that we would uh, just dive right here, just dive right in and kind of explore in and out of the channel and see what we find. So um, we're going to do a really long dive because it's shallow. And, um, My goal is three hours. Ooh, it can be done. At least, it can be done. if not longer. All right, let's go do it. This is how all divers get ready before a dive, right? Exactly. She's like keeping my foot under her so that we can stay with her. Oh, <laughs> Peanut, until you learn to dive, you're gonna be so sad every time we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. How many hours are you gonna go for, Miss Sexy Bond Girl? I'm looking for a tie. Uh, uh, not six, that's for sure. Like Jordan is gonna go for six hours. I will get like a like a wrinkled old lady. So I'm gonna go for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, till I two get cold. Hours. Till I get cold. Two hours. Don't be little. Two hours. No. Two hours. Two. two. And what if my 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 lips turn like blue? Two. Two I'm going for two hours. Two. 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 I don't know. Two. 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 How many hours are you diving for? As long as the dugongs are there, I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dugong is Peanut's spirit animal, we've decided. Mm. Yeah, that's your spirit animal, huh? The dugongs. Peanut! What are you gonna do when you see a dugong? Yep. You're gonna go sit down. Are you gonna turn? Are you gonna turn? No, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna do kisses! Mm. Ah, oh, that's what you're gonna do to the dugong. So cute. So cute. Why aren't you going diving today? I'm not going diving. Why? I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick of diving. <laughs> diving. I'm gonna stay here to keep save the boat. No, and the big infection I have in the back. It's between. It's in the back, but in the bottom. Above <laughs> the legs and below the back. Yeah. And it's a very, it's way worse than I expected, eh? Yeah. What I, I, last night? Last night, she and Nerea, yeah, Nerea oh. checked it, and she said, oh, I told it's really bad, really bad, and she started hugging me, and, uh, are you okay? And I said, don't do that, Nerea, please, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> and it was my worst, my, the worst night. Last night, I couldn't sleep because of the pain. Yeah. The painkiller stopped doing it, uh, I don't know, quite early. So, uh, yeah, I was waking up every two hours and yeah, very tough. Yeah. And yeah, they, everybody, all the crew members, they checked my back <laughs> today <laughs> just to make sure, to make sure that it's really bad. Yeah. So I'm, I'm staying here. Everybody's going yeah. to the water, swimming, diving. I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to swim in a couple of days at least. I started yeah. today at antibiotics again. Yeah. Oh no! But your hair is looking very, very stylish. Uh, backstreet boys today. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Yeah. Nick, which backstreet boy does he look like right now? Owie. Owie? Howie? Joey? Owie? Joey? No. What's, I don't even know their names. What's? How do you spell the name that you're trying to say? <laughs> I think it's H O W I. -E. Oh, Howie. Oh, okay, Howie. Howie. Is there a guy named Howie in the Backstreet Boys? Come on, Jordan. What is your childhood knowledge about boy bands? Anyway, back to business. It's dive time. <laughs> Hundreds of fish swim around in this marine reserve in Tetapari. 
The first thing you notice when you dip into these waters is that the fish here were much bigger in size than we had experienced anywhere else in the South Pacific. But it also looked like a paradise for sharks and stingrays. I always thought that stingrays look like graceful sea pancakes with a dangerous tail that when threatened, they can lift their tail upward and injure potential predators in humans. Around 200 species of stingrays inhabit the world's oceans, as well as some freshwater rivers and lakes. Their body is a boneless skeleton made of cartilage, the same semi-flexible protein that gives shape to human ears. The stingray's flat body allows it to sit on the bottom of the ocean, camouflaging itself to predators swimming above as it hunts its prey on the seafloor. They eat bottom-dwelling prey such as worms, clams and shrimp that they can locate thanks to a network of special sensory organs called ampullae florentini that detect the bioelectric fields of the animal around them. They can be pretty skittish around divers, which can make our job of filming them rather difficult at times. Next time on Expedition Trent, we have a pretty squally nice sail to Munda, our next top destination. But this time, it's a bittersweet excitement, because our precious ocean decides to go back home. Do your job, peanut. Massage. 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 Massage? Since uh, she's becoming a physical therapist. Yeah. So, yeah, we need to train her like every morning. Everyone that lays down here, mm -hmm. she has to like work on her muscles. Gotta earn her keep around here, huh? Yeah. She's pretty good. She's strong snout. She, I mean, she's better than anyone that I ever tried. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah I mean, sure. As long as I, I get cold. I, I have this. Um, the ceiling always, I don't know how to say it. I have. <laughs> I, I get cold. I get. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Can you ask me a question, please? It's on purpose, guys. <laughs> you guys does not know how to make a grand entrance. I wanted to go backwards. This is what I intended to do. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna throw us right into the rocks. Where are we going, Chloe? We're going to the sh I don't know what the ah. I was like to the sheep and I was like no. Buddy. So yeah. I'm a bit uh kind of post traumatic shock with these kinds of uh <laughs> jetty. Because when we went to Marvin's place, one of the side was not uh, attached. Attached. He knew about it but uh, everybody on the village knew. But of course I didn't knew and I it was down. scary at first, but then it was very funny after the fact. She yeah. literally, like, it was like a cartoon where she fell through and the boards went flying on the other side. <laughs> yeah, it was very noisy. I stand in the position, like, holding myself on top of it for 
for a long time. <laughs> and we have a special guest with us today. You might remember her from a movie called The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hello. She is with us today. Yeah. I'm just trying. <laughs> no, the thing is, I, I'm just trying new new outfit just to cover my my horrible bandage. <laughs> so I guess like Esmeralda style was pretty accurate and good for it. Roll bitches roll. Shake. Feel it shake? No? Come here. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. vlog. Yo, yo, yo. Nate doesn't want to vlog, but I think we should vlog. There's no story here. We vlog. We're vlogging. You vlog? We're vlogging. We're vlogging. You vlog? <laughs> we vlog. Pina, you vlog? What do you think, Lastana? Do you I like love, the place? Yeah, I love the place. Yeah. Do you wanna... Do you wanna say when I hear? Mm. <laughs> with me? Yeah, yeah with a... Uh, with a uh, red wine oh, with, bottle. Oh, or with peanut. With peanut. Are, you, are you leaving me for peanut? With peanut. Yesterday we slept with peanut. <laughs> Menace à trois? Menace à trois, yeah. <laughs>